How are we? Hi, everyone. Hi. Is that the clap? Oh. What's... What's that? Oh, it's a Salford programme. I thought I might see you last night. I went to Salford game. It's good. Good win. Do you think we played well? I mean, I thought they played bad more than you played well. Oh, what's this for? Oh, what's this? That Gary, you ready for the episode? You have, you have never been first in. I know. It's cos we're later today. But here's the new episode of Little Britain. You ready? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, playing, he's it? not coming in. He was in his wheelchair. <laughs> what's he doing? He's, oh, he was in his wheelchair. Who writes it? Yeah. Here he is. I see 15 quid. What's up? <laughs> Oh, I was actually yeah. early. Jill, you're here. Hey, hey! What's, what's happened, Ian? Jill's been promoted. Oh, oh, promoted? Yeah, she, what? Yeah, so is that like? You're, 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 you're in the seat, Jill. You're, 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 you're next to Gary. You're in the seat. Oh, yeah. Right, Ian, what's happened? My knee replacement, Jizza. Jill, what's the look? like a. I don't think you should say Jizza. That is not my nickname. Yeah, Jill, it's Jesus. Jesus. What's the look? Is it like a... Yeah, what's the look? Is it a bit like Greece? I know. Jill. No, Roy said Greece. Is that like Greece, isn't it? I think yeah. I've gone too young, haven't I? Yeah, I think what's that? Uh, what do you, you, what do you, what what was the woman, too what was young? woman in Greece? You look like you've got matching um, colours on. I know, you we do. What was that? You're, like, you're the no, rough woman in Greece. What was her name? The rough woman in Greece. Why does it have to be the rough woman? The other one. The one who got married. Sandy? No, Sandy. Sandy, you're definitely not... Sandy, let me tell you. Classy. <laughs> oh, you're the rough one. I've been called. Cool. Olivia, Olivia Newton-John, I absolutely oh, love. Beautiful. I've been called the rough one from Greece and Jizza. Jizza. And I've only Sorry. just walked in. I know. Cheers. Sorry. Cheers, Sorry. Is, is Let's this still great? Oh, no, uh, this is my one. Yeah, I think that might be yours there. I think that might be yours. Yeah. There. Who's the woman in Greece? Who can remember? What's her name? They're in the gang. The, the little um, black-haired one. Yeah, she's Surely, the yeah. one that was pregnant all the way through the film. This is what I'm saying. When I said oh. I wanted to put... When I wanted to put Greece in room 101, <laughs> because it's terrible for young girls. Yes, it is. That's what it's like a decent, you, a decent girl has to smoke, yeah, please, turn into a rock girl. chick. You know what I mean? mean? It starts with a B. Rizzle. Or Riz Rizzle. 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 You're all going to be there doing the live stick to football. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some stuff for the auction to get signed. Is it all right if you sign yeah. it? What now? Yeah. See how you do it in front of the camera, so we have to do it. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's like... No, weird, that, isn't it? It is weird. <laughs> And I heard Gary yeah, say they're, you asked them. Stand. No! Oh, the Stan Chow. I look yeah. like Ford too. I look like, um... Is he I look like Denzel. Has <laughs> he actually done them pictures? Of course yeah. he has. Wow. Danny. Hey, Dan. I've got them in my house. Just yeah. sign it. So this is the only thing we have to do for the charity. We don't have to do... Just turn up yeah. and do... It. Play a five-a-side. Five, play a five-a-side? Play a five-a-side, right. yeah. On a different day. There will and be a five-a-side auction, auction, That yeah. commitment is right. It's good, though, isn't it? You like that? I love that. It's beautiful. It's there are still some tickets left Thank for people who much. want to watch the show that night. How many's left? Uh, 200. Wow. 200 left? Yeah. Jeez, yeah. that's a but lot. But how many's going? When About 1,200. We're in so that studio. Where are we? 600 what? going to the dinner, and then there's a few hundred at the top that, that basically all, all the money goes to the charity, so... How much are the tickets now? I don't know how much they are, actually. Yeah. Me? Maybe it's not really expensive, is it? 40, 50 quid, something. <laughs> 40 quid. <laughs> I've got a really long neck. Oh, yeah? Haven't I? Thank you. Give it to Keza. Kez, give us my phone. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Did you right, sign it? Right, where do you want it signing? Up to you. Do I love that picture of you? Which one? This one? Yeah, I love Here. it. Saying, yeah. Just saying a rizzle. Well, you just can... saying a rizzle. <laughs> just like it. Just like it. Jizza. Jizza. You, you, you can tell us. You messed up on a few, I'm telling you. I didn't. You. I think we got United right 2 1, me and Cara. No, it was us. Two, no, 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 I no, put it in one, the no. group, none of you replied, so we oh. got. I replied, I don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't do it. Don't do that. Yeah, but then you replied, going, it was all me. That's what you said. You were like, I made them decisions. I so did. it was 2 1, Man United. Oh, yeah, but don't you didn't reply. Yeah. yeah. Right? Let yeah. me see you, Gal. Are you. Yeah, I saw a picture of you the other day, Gal, and that is probably you, yeah. That's good. I saw, yeah, I saw a picture, like, yeah. Where's the trade? No, he, he wasn't lifting, he wasn't the, lifting the trophy yeah, the at the time. Yeah, the Tash is a little bit downplayed, isn't it? Trade, trade, trade. Are you doing it's what, Amber? 
November. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think they've done well there. No, you keep it. Like for the whole of November. I, Are you doing it? it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So people are going to bite you in should all do it, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would it grow like into a big tash, guys? No, it won't grow into a. It won't grow. I was thinking of doing my. Oh, I mean, yeah, you grow, should. It grows too patchy and weird. I'm going to still do it. Though. Do you remember the Liverpool flag? You should all do it. Should I do it? Yeah. Do you remember the Liverpool flag at the grounds? No. Grow, yeah. I think you should all do Movember. I'm going to do it. You look good on there. That That's must so. be about 30 years ago. Look. Let me see it, oh, it, look, it looks hard on it. Does. It does. Scary, <laughs> really scary face. You do look scary. <laughs> scary. <laughs> yeah. Would you ever have a skinhead again? Yeah, I'd love to, but I'm, <coughs> I'm a bit bald, though, aren't I? So I wouldn't look good, I don't think. Thank you. I know, but then you wouldn't see it. Yeah, maybe. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, do you know what? Great work. You know? Are you Here hungry? You because um, your wife's been away. I think Aye. you've lost weight. I have lost weight. You have? You haven't, yeah. Have she you been eating? What have you been cooking? I made something yesterday. Do you know what I've not had for years? I had beans on toast yesterday. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I yeah. love beans on oh, toast. Beautiful. You... I love oh, beans on toast. Add, add, what, just... Burnt toast. Mm. Did you just make... Did, have you, did yeah, you just add a bit? Burnt that was toast. By accident. Yeah. That was by accident. Yeah, but... Lovely. The, the dark, I like dark toast. Yeah, I, I like dark like the toast. juice and the toast. Yeah. Did, did, you, did you jazz it up or did you put any kind of anything in it? Cheese. <laughs> Cheese, yes. You got that? I tell you, if Keep I it made... simple. Beans on <clears throat> toast. That was lovely. Go on, if, I, if I, I made your beans what, on what toast... What did you add to it? Oh, remember, you're, yes, you're a sheep. <clears throat> if I... If I... Gordon Ramsay here. <laughs> Don't have remember, I put, I'd put a little, little bit of butter in the beans. I fry some onions. <laughs> oh, put them in the beans. Still applies, in the beans. really. <laughs> no, no, no. Put some butter yeah, in the beans. Let that melt in. Yeah, I've seen that. Sounds nice. Why would you got it on your toast? Onions! If you put onions... With beans? No, no, no. Fry the onions till they're just like... No. For the flake, honestly. I'm not joking. On beans on toast? No. Yeah. But that's a, I'd have well, cheese, but you put the cheese on, then the beans, so I'm that it melts. Here, man. You look Do you no. put the cheese on top on of the top, beans? Yeah, so yeah. it all melts, yeah. yeah. That's the Anfield flag. Oh. No, no, if you put it on and then it melts. Yeah. It onions? Your have you had anything like that? No, I've never had onions. Proper muzzy. Well, proper muzzy. Where's Keza? Kez? Yeah. Come and read this for us, please. Did Phil write that? It needs it needs in a local accent, can you? To Gary. Go on, say it in an aggressive local accent, go on. Gary Neville, grow a proper muzzy or shave it off your scruff. There's <laughs> 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 some better banners than that as well, isn't there? Yeah, go and find them. We'll read them all out. <laughs> hey, he's a Salford fan now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, nice, nice one. Support yeah. this one. I can see why people yeah. go to the lower league games. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, it it nice. would have been nice to get an invite, to be honest. That, yeah. Not being yet. <laughs> well... I'll rizzle. Roy hey. didn't so, invite us. I love that saying of no football. Chance. They say about that goalkeepers, you come out with violence. Yeah. Mm. You hit people. That's what your man used to say, innit? Shameless. Yeah. My body. I think Liverpool's squad is better than Arsenal's. Maybe they were listening to you and saying, why didn't they? Arsenal, the great Arsenal, go for it. Go for it, Arsenal. Why, why is English coaching in the doldrums in the way in which he's... Do you remember that? I'd ask that question. Yeah. What has happened? I asked you that question. Can you not put a man I... on the keeper anymore? But everyone says England have the players to go and win these big tournaments. Have they? Right, so Jill and Scolzi, we went on a tour a few weeks ago and we're going yes. to start this... Uh, we're going to start this show with looking at a couple of clips because it's going to go out on television in the next right. couple of weeks. Sky Mobile presents The Overlap on tour. No, I'm not doing it. Oh, no! Having hit the UK and Ireland last series, oh! they're back. Oh, no! Here we go again. Gary Neville. Oh! Roy Keane. Not good, lads. And Jamie Carragher. Jamie, what are you doing? Oh, are joined by Ian Wright. Look at my guy! <laughs> as they go continental. That is terrifying. Revisiting the scenes of their most memorable matches. Morning! Hello. Getting to know some of the greatest European cities. Hey! Hey, move his number! In a way that they never could as players. Woo! <laughs> And the fun continues in front of a live Manchester audience. Whose idea was this? Yeah! Welcome to the Overlap on Tour. So we went to Barcelona. Yes. And we were asked to basically go on a diving board, the Olympic diving <laughs> board in Barcelona. <laughs> we were jumping off at three metres, five metres, seven and a half and ten metres. And this is the first clip. Were you diving? 
No. Oh, jumping. I was going to say. It, here we go. Do you think? <gasps> oh, no, I'm not joking. It, I don't think I'm doing it at all. No, that's good. Sure. I think no, you I were good at it. I think it's an odd Arsenal players that get good at diving. <laughs> Do swim shorts if you've got on. No, no, this is, no, this is scary now. Is this you know, working up to the top one? Yeah, you know, the higher you go as well, it's uh, just like... It's just... The only thing that's going to change, you're going to be more time in the air. Keep your body tight. That's all. Are you going to do it, How many metres is that top one? I don't think I could do that. Well, I tell you what, Jamie done well, cos he just went, bam, look. It's really quite daunting. You do what you called, you know? Look at Gary, look. I don't know if I could. We used to, we used to have a diving ball at Oldham Baths. <laughs> I did. Honestly. No, 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 could you, you went not next to it. All right. <laughs> oh, and then you've all just look, look, laughing. Look, 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 look. Oh, I did a lot, didn't you? <laughs> you did a lot. What? I'm actually getting a little bit panicky now. I know. <laughs> do you this is what I started to thingy because... Yeah, well, eventually we'll do it, won't we? I know this might sound a bit weird, but do you have to, like, cover yourself? Does it hurt? Look at my arms. Yeah. Especially me. Oh! <laughs> you actually right, jumped up a little bit. Right, <laughs> right. Oh. right. Oh. Your <laughs> technique was better than I thought, you know. Yeah, what she said. She said, said the woman said Roy was, like... Gary, oh, you're oh, so oh. scared. I, I actually, I wobbled. <laughs> yeah. Are you scared of heights? <laughs> Here he goes, look. Look at Gary, look. Big, why are you, why are you waiting so long there? I know, but you do get into that. Yeah, like, that. yeah. First on, nothing. I know, that's the problem, mate. Yeah. So why did yeah, you go first, first, first. <laughs> Yeah, but you can't go first at everything. Do you know what I mean? Just four... Yeah, go. Oh, I wish you... Well, you aren't helping. Just leave it, Gary. I was trying to help him, to be honest. He, look, he's... Uh, he's got... Uh, oh... I don't think I'm going to do it. Go on, Gary. <laughs> Be strong. <laughs> oh, he's not good, is he? Oh, he's not and Phil, is he? Is he phone and Phil? <laughs> what the gaffer said? You've took too long, haven't you? Do it for Fergie. Jumped out of play. Don't be the bottle job, Dal. Don't be that guy. Tell them three to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hurt my neck there, honestly. I didn't know this was the United Spirit, bro. Right? <laughs> Go on, Gary. Oh, <laughs> Would you not do it? No, Gary! Would you not do it? Gary, no! You didn't want to do it, you didn't want to do it. Sign his strength. Oh. Look at this. Do you think you took too long? Yeah. You got into a mental battle there. Oh, boy was right. He wants to go first all the time. So we went to Istanbul and it's we were the back taken. Wrong, the back now, the four of you may have been relaxed or trying to be relaxed in Istanbul, but the 45 degree heat was a challenge for some others. Let's take a look. Oh, that's it. Cheers, cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like the Earl Grey tea you have? Oh, it's actually nice. Well, you yeah. look like E.T. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone naked? Why is all the I'm camera naked, crew got nothing on? They're sweating. <laughs> well, you, look, you look like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, we were relaxed. Oh. What was the best place you went to? Like your favourite place? I think Rome. Oh, I liked Istanbul. I liked Rome. I thought Rome was great. The, the way they incorporated the buildings with the new new brands and every, everything was just beautiful. Still cobblestones. The buildings looked like they were like still a thousand years or whatever it is. It just it looks. Turin, I like Turin. Turin, Turin, you, Turin, was, Turin was good as well. Remember Turin when we was up nice. on? Cool. When we was up on that? Yeah, Turin. I think it's. Yeah. In the square, having the coffee, little chocolate, hot chocolate thing. Cheeky, wasn't it? Sam's lovely. I would have loved really... that. <laughs> you're busy, Joe. You did busy, you get Jill. an invite? No, it's OK. Oh, we'll go and play a paddle The reason together. you didn't get invited is because you have a contract with yeah. another show. Yes, Jill, yeah. so let's not blame exactly. it on us. Stop being a victim on us. Luke's women. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get on with the show. Yeah. Right, football. Oh, sorry. Nice one, Ben. It's a good job, Ben. Well, that looks like a good trip, though. It was good. I actually can't wait to watch it. So where can we watch it? It's on, I think, <laughs> October 29th on Skymax. Right. This episode of Stick to Football is brought to you by Skybet. This show is sponsored by Huel. Back in my playing days at United and England, our meal plans were strict. But getting proper nutrition on the move wasn't always easy, especially when I was rushing home from training or travelling to a match. 
I wish I'd had something like Huel back then. Huel is a game changer. Take this black edition ready to drink. It's formulated by nutritionists to be the ultimate meal on the go. It's perfect if, like me, you're always short on time, but you want something better than unhealthy snacks or fast food. With Huel's Black Edition, you get 35 grams of protein, 26 essential vitamins and minerals, and over 170 health benefits packed all into one bottle. And the best way to find out how well it works, try Huel's Taster Bundle. You'll get a range of their products like this and decide which one's best for you. My favourite is definitely the vanilla. So if you're an athlete, a professional, or just want a healthier option when you're on the move, give the Taster Bundle a go. Join the millions who love Huel and unlock your offer now at huel.com slash the overlap. That's huel.com slash the overlap. Right, here we go. <laughs> We're going to start with Arsenal. And oh, Ar right, he's got his way. about United, isn't it? We're going to start with Arsenal and Arsenal's disciplinary record and Arsenal's what disciplinary th record and Arsenal's discipline this season. I, what, we, we're talking about the fact that we've been sent off for what three, like three, three times, uh, drop points in three what, matches. What, 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 what we're talking about in respects of the challenges <laughs> and what we're talking about in respects of like people getting yeah. booked. Discipline. Well, I, I ask you a simple yeah, question: Is discipline you, a problem? Is it going to no, cost Arsenal? No, no, and no. Why have they not recovered? In Discipline's games? not a problem. I think they, they have a bit of naivety in respects of maybe like what Declan done. You could say that's naivety. Then you can say with with Trossard, you know, I'm kicking the ball away. Obviously, you've seen what Declan. He shouldn't have done that. But I'm not going with the Arsenal having a discipline problem. Two years ago, we won the Fair Play Award. What's going to happen in two years? You turn into like Jekyll and Hyde? The, of course the, not. Chill, right? Relax, man. Chill. Chill. I'm just saying it. No, no, no. No, I'm just saying it. The nasty no, sendings off, and that's what he's saying. Yeah. But you know yeah. the thing is, Paul, it's just like, it's the same with people when they're going on about the dark arts and, and the diving, like Roy's even saying about my, my diving. <laughs> <laughs> it's constant. It's constant. It was good it's technique. a constant but Arsenal have had 18 red cards, I think, in the period that Artas has been managed compared to the next right. worst, which is oh. 12. So they have had more red cards. Yeah, but then... The, yeah, but we're talking about... In, we're in a time in an 13 era, now, apparently. In a time in an era where you can get sent off for what Declan done. Are we talking, is, that, is that a discipline problem? All right, let's take it specifically to the fact that they've dropped points in three of those matches where they've had players sent off. Is, that, is it going to harm them? Then? Well, of course it is, and this is why the manager said, the manager said, listen, you know what I mean, um, you, you can't be going down to ten men and thinking that you're going to be able to challenge. That's something that we have to sort out, and that is what I said. You know, we've got to learn from the fact that, listen, in the current climate, you will get sent off for that, and you will get sent off for that, but I'm not going to say they've got a discipline problem, but what they have to be more than wary about is those kind of like sending toffs. Mm. They have to be worried about that because now look, we've got, we've got Liverpool, we've got Liverpool coming up, we've got no Saka, no Erdegaard, no Saliba, um, no uh, Calafiori now, you know, no Timber. That's five first team players out, you know, with everything what's going on. So what, we, what we've got to do now is we've just got to, we've got to just like hunker down, man. We've got to hunker down and get it done because the game on Sundays are no, we can't afford to lose the game. Do you think you make it a thing? Like, do you think these things live? Because it's like, oh, they've had a few red cards and suddenly you start looking at them. Like, I remember having managers that were like, they love a stat, don't they? Like, you concede goals 70 minutes to 74 and suddenly you're looking at the clock and you start to get a bit... It's like it lives because you make it a thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, I suppose, in some ways, the bigger problem is, I mean, you mentioned this a few weeks ago, which, to be fair, at the time, was after the City game, where you would say maybe they did well or didn't do well against City, but you pointed out you thought they should have done better with 10 men against City. Mm. I think there is definitely a clear thinking that you're nil-nil against Bournemouth, you've got 10 men. Should Arsenal still win that game? But why didn't they sit back against Bournemouth and just, like they did against City, and go, we just sit in and we try and pick you off with 10 men? It can be... It, it, can, respect. Maybe they it can be done. Yeah, but it, it can be done, but maybe, maybe they were listening to you and saying, why didn't they... Arsenal, the great Arsenal, go for it. <laughs> go for it, Arsenal. No, I didn't say go for it. I'm saying at the right time, Ian. You know the thing is... <laughs> you're being childish. I'm bro. not being childish. The fact is, is that at the time, you was really upset about the fact that we didn't try and do more against City... You know, a team that you're gonna yeah. get, you're gonna get hurt. So why did you sit in against Bournemouth? Then? Well, you That's know good, something? Why, why not sit in against Maybe Bournemouth? So, and go, Come at us, and we we can still pick you off. I don't know. Maybe should have. The fact is, you're going into a game like Do that. You think he got it wrong after, uh, against Bournemouth with the sort of change that he made and the way in which the sort of style after the sending off or not? Um, I've got to say, going into the game, it, it wasn't with the way that Bournemouth are and how, how hard they work and how they press, and especially Semenya. We couldn't deal with Semenya in that particular game. Um, it was Raheem Sterling and Ben White. They haven't got the same 
They haven't got the same chemistry as uh, Ben White and Saka. And I, I think what we saw in that game is how much he missed someone like Saka. But Semenya was too much for us physically and skillfully. We couldn't deal with him. I didn't, you know, Raheem is still, I don't know, it's, it's still not quite clicking for Raheem. But I thought that it was going to be a tough game. I didn't expect us to lose the game. But then when you look at the two mistakes, what we made, you should get punished for those. Uh, and we did. You know what I mean? I don't. I thought that um, Saliba, when Saliba was trying to, to push up and then Trossard knocks that ball back, obviously he's on the wrong side. That's the mistake. But yeah, you, it probably was a sending off. And then obviously the penalty, it was. And those two mistakes came before Mar Martinelli had a chance to score. Maybe that's what we need. We yeah. need you'd need to, you have to You've score. You've got to take them chances. That's yeah. all it is. Listen, Without the I mean. sending off, so I don't think Arsenal have been great anyway. Mm. The midfield, yeah, well, the midfield it, it, what do you think of that midfield? It I was... don't think it's flowing, is it? Yeah. Like it was, like it was last year. Yeah. I think Odegaard could be a big Massive yeah, issue yeah. with that. Massive yeah. miss. You, know, you realise how important he is, obviously, yeah. Yeah. when he's not yeah. playing. I That's worry a, thing, a bit yeah. about Rice as well, me. I think he's so big for club and country and he's played so many yeah. games. I just, like, touch wood, I hope he doesn't get injured, but I do worry about him. I think he's just... You know, in he's that, relied yeah, got, on yeah, it's got a little heavily. bit messy in that area for him, with Jorginho and the lad Mourinho coming as well. You know what, I think with, um, with, with Erdogan missing as well, um, you know, when I saw Mourinho, Party and Rice, I was thinking, listen, Wanieri, the youngster, I think against Bournemouth, you know, if you've got those two, you can you you can kind of have maybe as a double pivot, whether it's whether it's Declan and Marino. I think you need somebody like Nwanieri who can do something and create something, because I think that that's what was majorly missing the other day at creation, something something to beat somebody, somebody to beat somebody with a ball, you know that kind. Of, Gosh. And I, I probably against Bournemouth, I me personally, I probably would have taken a chance on him instead of having. Party, Marino, and Declan. I'd have had Marino, Rice, and and one year he playing in there just for that little bit of something different. But it still created that great chance, isn't it? It's a great chance, and, that's and then you, you score that. And then you sit back and you go, listen, no, we can just do that defensively. Yeah, so, yeah. When you're in a winning position. Yeah, it's all coming. It's all coming pretty fast at us at the moment. From, you, sorry, you, you said something that uh, you said that they don't, um, they can't afford to mm -hmm. lose against Liverpool on yeah. Sunday. I don't feel that strongly. I feel that this season's got something about it that means that you could potentially start a little bit slowly, you could drop a few points, they're only a few points behind now, and still come back after. I don't think it's going to be... No, Gal, I don't think it's vintage City, as we've seen in the sort of like the 100 not, point City, for instance. No, for it, it may not be vintage City, but what this team has learned over the last two years is how you cannot be be chasing them. But do you feel so strongly about Sunday in respect? You're playing Liverpool, you've got four or five players missing, mm, and it's five. almost become like a five players, you like must win game almost. Or are you thinking that no draw still be it's a must still lose game. So you think draw you yeah. take a draw now on Sunday against yeah. against Liverpool? Oh big club, take a draw. <laughs> Jesus. I don't Christ. honestly hey, with I, five I, with five players missing, you know what I mean? Obviously I want to see us City I, everyone's missing players. No, no, no. Yeah, but what I'm saying is five first team players missing. We can't just act like it's nothing. It's a big deal for us because it's five players that would be playing. But the thing is, is if we go and we attack the game, we try to, that's what you need. But at some stage in that game, you've got to realise, well, we cannot lose again. We wasn't expecting to lose against... You've got to win as leagues, as or you've got to win these big yeah, games. But you do have you've to got to win, win like, against the people we you cannot, We cannot ignore the fact it's the that we have got... Yeah, we can't ignore City the fact... City was the same last year, sorry. What? When Alan, went, what? De Bruyne, you're all missing. Yeah, yeah, they were all yeah, missing. Yeah, we're they're all missing. City. They went there, they got a draw, they're all celebrating. Yes. That was a time to go win the league. Yeah but, we, yeah, but we're talking about now, this early in the season, knowing how hard it is to make sure that you're chasing down and stay in touch with them. The fact is, this game against this Liverpool side, who've started brilliantly, whatever people say about our easy to start is for Liverpool. They've made it easier with the way they've played and they've built momentum. Yep. They're coming to Arsenal now and they're looking at it and they're saying, just like Bournemouth probably looked at that team sheet last week and thought, well, I'm going to have a go at these. Liverpool will be thinking, let's keep this tight. I think we can beat these guys. It's up to us to prove that they can't, especially with five, five major players missing. How many is missing? Five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm checking. Just, you know check, yeah, sure the thing is, I was going to, I was going to say, Roy, can, and Roy, can you finish this off for me? Please? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We'll see. We'll see. I've got pure faith That's in what my the manager. Game's about. It's squads. You know, we're talking about Arsenal, all these clubs being big. You have to deal with these injuries. Yeah. And you have to deal with every now and again a player getting sent off. Whether you think it's right or wrong to be... You can get results. It almost seems that people think it's a miracle to get results when you've got injured players or... Five? 
Five first teamers? Definitely that... five, yeah. Right, I feel a little bit like that from what they've both said. In that, you know, looking back to games sort of like historically, for a mentality of Arsenal to change, they imagine just imagine this if you're an Arsenal player, you've got five players missing. You go and beat Liverpool on Sunday. Mm. Imagine the shifting sort of momentum that that creates in the season. Listen, make no mistake, so Mikel hope... will want that. Yeah. That's yeah. what Mikel will want. Talk about five. Is, is five that many these days? It's half the team, right? It's half the team. It's not for Chelsea. Oh, they've got, got, got 40 or something. <laughs> it's half the team. You've got a squad of 20 odd. Yeah, but like that's half the team. That's half of our first team. Half. It's like Rice said, you should be able to handle that. But you though. also think there, sit there, right, that. right? Obviously, you're out. You've got your Arsenal hat on. And listen, we love all that about Arsenal. We all, we all agree it's a big club. But Liverpool coming to town, Liverpool having a very good start. But you should also, we've got the injuries. And use that as fuel to go, listen, we're, we're yeah, ready. We're a yeah, big club. Roy, we're going to yeah. take you yeah, on. But Roy, remember, this is my, my opinion and how I feel because as, as an Arsenal fan, I'm nervous about it. Especially that I, I know how much it means for us to get something from that game. Of course. I, I, Did they beat Liverpool to... last year? Or is that when they beat Liverpool last year and they were doing all the silly photographs? Or was that last year? No, that was the year before. Oh, was it? <laughs> I do think yeah. Arsenal could get something, though, at Liverpool. I was actually quite surprised at how much Chelsea broke the Liverpool yeah. midfield. Like, Chelsea were getting on the ball quite a lot in them attacking yeah. tempers. Well, but that's surprising. I think that's Liverpool no, playing as well, though, I, I just yeah, but you're like... saying you, you think Arsenal could get a result again? Yeah, well, because he's seen there's players missing. Oh. I still think the will. I still think the will. You, you still have to believe you can beat. Of course, yeah, of course you do. I, I, if we I, had five something. players missing, we still think. Are you just worried about the fan base? Yeah. Exactly. It's a big game. You're thinking. I mean, I'm going there Sunday to the game. I'm imagining that Arsenal are thinking they're going to win this game. I absolutely, hundred percent. Are you working? Yeah, I'm doing the, the game. Fan. It should be. No, I'm working. Right. <laughs> right. No, no, no. The thing is, is that like I said. Of course, that's what everybody wants, yeah. but you, it's, the, it's the, that nagging like negativity of those players missing and what those players mean. I, I know I'm going on about it, but it's a game that, it's a big game, a game that Liverpool, people are using it as a game that, let's see if Liverpool are the real deal against this <laughs> Arsenal side yeah. in what they've done up to this point. But set up so, for a good game, isn't it? I think it it's going to be a good game. Yeah. It should be you good. I mean? Are you Very working good. off the gone younger again? <laughs> <laughs> Probably younger <again. laughs> This episode of Stick to Football is brought to you by Skybet. Yeah. OK, let's, let's... I want to ask about <laughs> Liverpool's yeah, midfield. I'll start with you, Scholes. I want to ask about Liverpool's midfield because, you know, that Liverpool midfield of, say, Sobbers like Curtis Jones and uh, Gravenberch last week, if you said to me Liverpool were playing with a midfield of Gravenberch and Jones and uh, Sobbers like, I'd be saying, you've got to be able to get on top of that. You know, that's, his, that's what you would think in terms of sort of their names and, you know, the seasons that they had last year, as an example, Gravenberch struggled a little mm. bit, Curtis Jones in and out. Why Liverpool's midfield, no matter what combination they seem to put in there, they seem to be collectively outperform what their individual sort of what would be reputations are. What, why is that? Because I think, I mean, look at it, you know, Casado, Lavia, mm. Palmer was the Chelsea yeah. midfield. They did it OK. Yeah, did, yeah. But Liverpool's midfield, Curtis Jones, man of the match. Just mm. they, they, They've got legs, haven't they? Mm. Which, which is a big thing. I think the biggest thing I noticed at Old Trafford when they played against United, I thought, wow, they look a, a fit team. And there's quality with it as well. Mm. They're, them three in the middle of the pitch with the forwards you got in front of them, I don't think it really it, it matters that much. I think we we always say don't you? You're only as good as your uh, as your forwards are. Now they've got three forwards, well, not three. They've probably got five or six yeah. forwards who are, who are special. Mm -hmm. So that middle of the pitch, I don't think it becomes that important. Although they have still got six again. Any three of the six could play who, who can be brilliant. You mm -hmm. think you know, McAllister yeah. played the weekend? Yeah. You look. Uh, at, you know what as well? Even. I think that you, you can't underestimate. No one expected this from Gravenberch. No. And then Curtis Jones is all of a sudden he's he's gone supernova. I still think Sabozla. I still, I'm not, I'm not seeing. Needs goals, isn't it? You know what I mean? I think that's what. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing his, his like performances. But he contributes. And he works. Yeah, he does. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, I think the form of Gravenberch and 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 uh, Curtis Jones is really taking it to to another yeah. place. But why are we all so surprised how well Liverpool are doing? I know the real. I'm not. No, I'm not. Remember they, they got 80 odd points last year. Yeah. So he's not. They only fell and away the last bit. It's still only October. So on one hand, we're saying Arsenal aren't playing that well, but I also go back to Liverpool. It's October. But we, but we, I know, we, yeah, and you have to give them praise, yeah. but I think October, you don't, get, you don't get anything in October. I'm asking about the midfield specifically. But they're doing well. No, 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 wait, Paul, say it again. I think Liverpool's squad is better than Arsenal's. I, I think Guardiola would be more worried about Liverpool than his Arsenal. At the moment, you think? I think is, is that with yeah, the experience maybe. as well, with their experience. Because again, what I'm saying is with Liverpool coming to the Emirates, 
they know what to do in these situations with their experience. Well, what Liverpool have is a back five. They've played together more than any other back five in the country. And then they've got a front three out of six that Scholes, he said that, to be fair, they could have yeah, got options off the bench. Yeah. The midfield's the area that everyone's looked at in the last 12 months. Yeah, but Liverpool last year, with four or five games to go, yeah. with four or five games to go last season, Liverpool were still in the mix. Fell away. Yeah. 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 Do you think Sterling will play? They lots of football matches, At they? Liverpool. What do you mean? Is that, you is that, is that the Emirates, you mean? Uh, oh, sorry, at the Emirates. Do you think he'll sack? Uh, only if Saka's not fit, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Saka will yeah, be I, I, I hope so. Um, I didn't expect him to miss this so many That's games. only three injuries, is it? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying. It's just like, this is bullying. This is bullying everybody. Just witnessing it and you're all smiling. According to Riley, do you think Arsenal... I'm trauma Do you think Arsenal will stay up this year? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being negative. I'm being, a, I'm being a fan and a pundit at the same time and trying to make... I'm so in with facts. Saka would be the fact. biggest miss, wouldn't it? Massively. Yeah. yeah. He's, Massively. The, he's the one player who can create something on his own. Yeah, I think so. I think we saw that. Um, I think we saw that with England as well. Is he definitely out ready for the weekend? Saka. I don't know. That's the thing, Roy. Right. Has he got a chance? So yeah, he's got a chance. Hopefully, right, really yeah. would. I think they're, he's prob they're probably, if anything, they're right, if he's saving him for this. Would that make, change your mindset if he's starting? Well, of course it would. Right. Do you think he's just got that one player? Forget the other four that are injured. Then you're thinking if he starts, your mindset changes. He will help us. If he's started right. as well. But he's the one you'd have over the others to yeah, be. He'll help them get a uh, To be honest, uh, yes. You know what I mean? He's the one I don't really want out. Obviously, I don't want um, Erdegaard out as he's well. He's a big loss, Erdegaard. Yeah. And then Saliba, I don't want him out. Yeah, so of course, yeah. It's not just him. I want him out. All of them. <laughs> and with Asher, who do you think's got the best midfield in the country? <sighs> City. So good, yeah, City. City. Well, if, if they're all well, fit. If everyone's if they're all fit, fit, yeah. 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 yeah if they're all fit, the groin. That's easy, isn't it? Rodri, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you can go... Gundogan. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have injuries there for, like, the biggest city. Silver. Rodri, Silva. Brian, Miss, uh, Liz, Liz, you know. I think City Liz. could have a combination of two threes and still be, really. Yeah. Up there, definitely. Well, that's what happens when you can afford it. Every time you talk about Man City, the squad, the one thing that jumps into your mind is right, pure quality, isn't it? Yeah. And even yeah. got to do digging up results, lads. I know the Arsenal game was mm. a 4 5 <clears> show. Everyone's praising Arsenal for digging... But City kept going. I know. City, City like a league. I know they have. They do that. For all their quality, it's fantastic, but they keep going. They're yeah. yeah. good it's, champions. It's probably a bit early, but remember that Oscar Bob goal at Newcastle last yeah. year where yeah. you thought, oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. There was a bit of that on yeah. Sunday, weren't there? I mean, it's, early, it's early days, yeah. October, but you think, oh. I love a late goal, though. I think it shows a good like team yeah. spirit. Yeah. Like, and I, I did love it. And can I just say, I can't even... Like, believe that that was even a question whether it was a goal or not. Yeah. Like, you always put somebody on the keeper. Yeah. And when I watched it back, there was a corner just before that and the keeper's, like, kicking off a little bit. And then when the second one actually goes in, he doesn't react. Mm. But I'm like, can you not put a man can I, on the keeper I, I, anymore? I, I never, honestly, a keeper should never react like this. When they've got a small player yeah. in front of them, they, should be, they shouldn't be doing... Look at this. Yeah. It's almost like you're already mentally yeah. down. You've yeah. got to say, you've yeah. got to just be calm, relaxed, calm. and soon as the ball's about to be kicked, if you're thinking they're coming for it, get them out of the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't really? believe it. Yeah, if you're, a, goal, if you're a goalkeeper and a guy's in your area, especially if he's five foot one, you look and go, <laughs> you come into my area and I'm telling you, yeah. I'm taking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm Absolutely. the ball. But then they start to blame him, but I'm like, I'm like, they still should be winning the header. Yeah. Do you know uh, what I mean? They start to blame the, of course. the I mean, little push on it, the it keeper. It didn't affect the keeper, did it? It didn't affect the keeper. I don't no. think so. No. So I love that saying in no football, they say about that goalkeeper, you come out with violence, yeah. mm. you hit people. That's what your man used to say, innit? Shameless, yeah. my buddy. Can we just take... Come with violence. Brilliant. I like Villa's midfield. Yeah, <laughs> I, can I like Villa. I think we should mention <laughs> Villa. <laughs> <laughs> the guy on the when you look at what Villa done, that shouldn't have been gone. Get away with it. Yeah. 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 I'm just saying about Villa. Villa's far. midfield. It functions well. Villa's yeah. midfield. It plays yeah. well. Coached well. Coached well. Well coached. coached well. Yeah. Very well coached. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Villa. Villa's midfield. I'm telling you, man. Villa. Villa top what? Duran got another goal, didn't he? Beautiful goal as well. I don't think he was happy when. Weren't happy, was it? Did he win the Champions League, Villa? Win it. It's a big ask. It's a big ask for anyone. Fill the colours on today. It's a big ask for anyone. You know what? No, but could I'd, they win it? I'd love it. It's not possible, is it? No, of course. not for me. Well, anything can do. happen. I would love them to. That manager that knows that European I would love them to win it. You. No, but the thing I would is, love them to win it. You think they could win it? No. Okay. They're in the semi-finals. No, they're in the semi-finals. You know what, Gal? Do you know what I can never understand with somebody football saying, no, Villa could never win it? I don't think they'll win it. No, they could win that manager. Yeah, but like... 
But I could be wrong. Can you still go into the Europa League? Do you think they'll win it? <laughs> huh? so, no. they'll win they're, it? they're in it, they've got a chance. I know they're in it, I know they're in it, but will they win it? Yeah, but I can't, I can't say they will definitely win it, but I think they've got a good chance of winning it. They're like anyone else. No you chance. say they don't think they'll win it. No, no think, chance. You know what so I'm going to say? This is I'm going to no say Villa can no. win. No chance. No chance. I don't think they've got a chance. It'll be the best story. No chance, but I don't think they'll win it. This episode of Stick to Football is brought to you by Skybet. I wasn't going to go to this subject next, but it, they were mentioned set pieces. I think you mentioned yes. them. I, there's been less apparently set piece goals this season than previous seasons. Is that mm. right? Mm. Um, but set piece coaches mm. seem to be coming yeah. well are yeah. very prominent Absolutely. in the game. And the, one of the goals that was scored at the weekend, Cara did it on Monday Night Football, the Bournemouth goal against yeah, the Arsenal. Brilliant, brilliant, absolutely great fantastic, finish. brilliant goal, yeah. great finish. He said it was goal of the season, didn't he? Well, I think it's just yeah. because yeah, Cara got a bit carried away with that. <laughs> it's Arsenal as well. He can <laughs> Cara, you can shut your mouth. And <laughs> like he was, he was right. It was brilliantly, so, brilliantly worked what, out what from we, the first start. What do we think about set piece? I'm thinking your goal, for instance, at Bradford was not done by wow. a training ground move. It was just instinct. One, one with Beck instinct, yeah. what ping, pinging it out to the edge of the box. Yeah. So I'm asking a question: mm. If you have someone who's brilliant at delivery on set pieces, and you've got five big lads in the box that attack it really well, and you just put it on the second, you put it on the sort of in between the penalty spot and the six yard box on a constant basis mm -hmm. do you think you would score as many goals as you would if you had a set piece coach who was coming up with innovative methods I'm asking the question is it are we overcomplicated well, or do no. you believe well it is all about delivery you've got to get the delivery yeah. Yeah. first of all for any set piece whether you have a coach Absolutely. or not you've got to have the right yeah. delivery I think we overcomplicate it do you think? Yeah, it, I, I'm asking if you've got 100 and, let's say you've got let's say you have 600 corners in a season as an example just an example and you put those 600 corners into an amazing... corners, that is. Exactly, it's a lot, right? You're Villa, you've won the Champions League as well. Thank you. <laughs> and you've basically had 600 corners in a season, you put everyone perfectly delivered into that sort of area that I've just said, and you've got five or six big lads attacking it. Mm. How many would you score versus the innovative, say, different types of corners that we see? Do you think you'd score more? more? Is there someone on the keeper? With, with the innovation. <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean? With the, with, I'm so talking about... I'm talking about one person, like, the the, like Roy said, it's the delivery. If the delivery's there... And you've got the people who are going to attack that ball. Are we overcomplicating it with... Well, that's the same with the Arsenal, no. isn't it? It's delivery. Exactly. And, and the big man edited it. And it's exactly. Do we know how many clubs have got a set-piece coach? Obviously, most... Villa, Villa, Villa have got one, haven't they? Arsenal. 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 So the stats... Arsenal. And obviously, these will get a lot of set-pieces anyway. So sometimes you're going to have more set-pieces than lesser teams. But I think... I, I think you have to look at it. If you've got somebody in and you look at the stats at the end of the season, we're well, scoring more from set-pieces because of a uh, set -piece Well, look at Southampton. They don't have one. Look at what Southampton are considering. Arsenal definitely have yeah. scored more, there's no yeah. doubt, in the last 12 to 18 months. Yeah. With, and they have had a set piece goal. Yeah, but it helps that Arsenal then, of course, they've got good delivery and they've got big, strong bodies. Big lads, yeah. Of course. The thing is, it's, yeah. it's, the, way, it's the way to go. It's, the, it's, an, it's another way of like closing the margins on scoring yeah. goals. Because yeah. every, especially when you're getting people doing the deep and blocks you know and you're trying one. to break through. I, I, yeah, they have got they one. They have got one, haven't they? Have right? mm. Do you think you need a specific person, or should your football coach just know yes. football? That's, always, that's the question. It was always the goalie coach, wasn't it, with us? Yeah. <clears throat> do the set pieces. The goalkeeper, the goalkeeper, you know, yeah. goalkeeping coach would do the defensive set pieces. Steely. Definitely steely. Yeah, but we've got we've gone to a place like American football, right? Yeah, but it's special, special teams. teams, yeah. It's yeah. special teams, and if you've got like like Ryan said, it's huge. If you've got somebody who can put the ball there, I know you're saying um, there's skulls about. I know everyone's raving about the Arsenal mm. goals. It's nothing special, is it's it? It's a great ball. Yeah, but the thing is... It's a great the, ball. Yeah, but it's still, a, big a, move, it's the, still a movement. You're taking advantage of people not marking. Yeah. you still got to do all that stuff. It's still leading to the, mo the most precious commodity, which is a goal. And that is what people are trying to do. This is... Yeah. I think that it's... I can't City understand have got that, one, that they? everybody hasn't got one. I can't so wait, believe everyone so ain't got one. So Pep's got one. We said Pep's the one that obviously one of the best coaches ever. And if he thinks I need a specialist coach, then there must be something in it. Yeah. He's thinking that's your obviously speciality. If, if it's good enough for Pep to yeah. use one to close the margin, then everybody should have one. Yeah. And Southampton should bloody get one. You don't one. see Pep's on here. I like that. You don't see Pep's? No. You did not yeah. know also it was, see you? When, um, when well, they You know Villas, you know Arsenal. He's right on the fucking... Yeah, yeah, you don't see the, the I don't see the set piece coach when the goal goes in. Yeah, I don't see the set piece coach <laughs> when the goal <laughs> conceded from corners yeah, either. I just, yeah. That's what I just said. Yeah. Can we just say? Can we just say? Just <laughs> like true. what Jamie Jamie made the point on, on, on in his in his analysis, how brilliantly that manager Iriola recognised when obviously with yeah. Sterling, it was it was brilliant. Yeah. In game, he's realised it. Yeah. Said right and. Then they punished hey, us. What a brilliant... You've got to give them credit for yeah. that. Uh, Liverpool got criticised. It was a couple of years ago for having a, 
uh, throw in. Throw-ins, it wasn't it? Throw -in well, you don't have a set pieces yeah. last year. Remember De Bruyne's one against Liverpool? Yeah. Was it De Bruyne's ball? The near yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant, uh, man. Yeah. Hey. OK, let's move off set pieces. We're going to go to Thomas Tuchel. I've made my point really clear. <sighs> I think England have got a great coach, but I'm, I think, ultimately, a little bit disappointed for English coaching. And I'll start with... Why, Gary? It's all right. Oh, look, you can come I know, round. But I'm disappointed for English coaches. Right, OK. Scholes, you start with yourself, because we've... Uh, like you, well, like you, 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 of course, you'd prefer it to be an English coach, wouldn't you? But it is that English coach out there. I think they've got the best out there that, that was available. Thank you. Um, well said, Scholesy. Well, I don't think any of us disagree with that. I think. Yeah. And, I, and I think he suits the type of players we've got. I think it's very yeah. much um, possession-based. And going to America as well, mm. where it'll be, it'll have to be... If they qualify. Where, when they qualify. Yeah. They yeah. will qualify. Um, they didn't qualify. It, it'll have to be that type of game. Yeah. They didn't qualify in 94. You think English World players, you think... The you goal. don't think there is an English coach available? That, or no. That, no. You, don't think, you don't think Eddie Howe or Graham Potter would no. be able to do that You're job? Born, then. Yeah. I think they'd be able to do it, but I don't think they'd have... They haven't got the credentials. They wouldn't have the credentials, they wouldn't have the... I know that. Yeah, but Gal, this is what we said. You wouldn't have the presence of Thomas Tuchel. I, I England, are, England are good until mm. they play a good team. Mm. Mm. Now, Thomas Tuchel, he's proven, like, like he did with Chelsea when he beat Manchester City. The paths England have had through to finals has been quite simple. And Gareth, I say quite simple, not simple, and Gareth has won them games. Mm. As soon as you play a team... Croatia. Croatia, Spain, Spain. Italy, a team that you think... Organised. We, we, we not shouldn't be or a team we don't think we should beat, you come unstuck. I, I think this could be the man who can take us. Having lived through the experience, obviously, of Sven Goran Eriksson, and um, I don't think you played under Capello. Fabio Capello. You got no. asked to come back, though, didn't you, I think, at that time? Yeah. We all views Gareth not, asked him to come back. Yeah, we, we, all views <laughs> after that, we all views after that at the time, though, not that we should basically, from now on, look at English coaching and see how... And the concern I for England I, did, you know, I never really thought about it. And I, I remember at the time, because Sven was the first one, wasn't it? Yeah. And I, I didn't really like the idea of it. But I, I came round to it and, look, I don't think Sven was the, the greatest coach in the world that, that could have been had at the time. And, I, I, look, I can't even remember what English managers, managers were around then, but in the ideal world, of course you want an English manager. And I see it stops the path of people, but at the hour... I think they've still got things to do at club football before they get that job. And I, st I still think Thomas Tuchel, to some point, has got a few years to prove as, as a club manager, because he's messed about, hasn't he? Not messed about, but think, he's been 18 yeah. months mm. here, 18 months there. But that's that's why I, the first one I said would, would have been Guardiola. Mm. I just think it's the right stage for him. He, he might disagree, but he's done it at big clubs for a, a, a number yeah. of years, an amount of time where... He, he Timing's always important, isn't it? Timing yeah. for who's available at the yeah. time for yeah. England. The timing for him. Be interested if he spoke to. I, him, yeah. timing, I know he said he spoke to ten. Ten. He didn't even speak to possible Eddie managers. Eddie Howe, that, that's what I did. I'm excited yeah. though. I think we do need structure, and we have got players that do want to play possession based football and I know people say about having a foreign manager but we had Serena at England and say, you know yeah. what she came in so passionate we whenever we away. played against Netherlands like should she it should same, be we should be the reason same why passion. I'm the reason it's why I'm just excited getting over that line it's a job isn't it the reason yeah. why I'm excited about it Gal is that we he's, he's got, we've given him eight, 18 months you mentioned about that's his kind of like his time that's the world to, to get to the world cup we're talking about a manager for t in 20 months at Chelsea what he won, what he's capable of winning with this team. Mm. With this team, with this player, these players, what he's got, he is the best candidate out there. And I know what people are talking about they want to be English, but that's a whole different story because I think that the, 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 everything was coming up about English coaching. You know what I mean? Thomas Tuchel being the English manager isn't the problem why our system, systemically our coach, we've got coaching issues in people getting badges and getting on the courses and stuff. And even when he's gone, in 18 months' time, it's still not going to be solved because look, eight years to sort sort out a manager and what's going on. So if you can get someone like Thomas Tuchel to manage this, this, these, these players in this time, you take that, you mm. take it. What, what, what it, can he do differently? Sorry, guys. Yeah. Go on. Well, the thing well, is, you say what he can do differently, yeah. but like what we're talking about in respects of the cup competitions that he's won. Look what he done 
with the Chelsea, with the Champions League, with big, so you're thinking to come to his own and not go football. I think that's what, what, what I think that's do. what he has to do in the big one. I think yeah, that's, that's the only thing they've been missing. That's really, what we need. The reason yeah. they've got for him is to get him over the line yeah. where they've not been able to get over the line. That's yeah. why he's here because yeah. that's what he's done. He's done. Yeah. He's proven that at club football. Then that's it, Gal. That's so the only you, reason yeah, well, I'm excited. So why are you bothered where he's from? I don't get that. Roy, did, all the other sports in England. So right, but the, 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 so Roy, I, I was, I was. Uh, I was with England when they moved to St George's Park and in, in, in that move there was a, a vision of the FA moving forward, the English coaching, the, English, the education pathway, promoting English, an English style of football, an English identity and having England coaches being sort of managed by English coaches was really important. That was, that was deemed to be the success. Now the actual teams have been successful over the last eight yeah, years. And the underage teams. The underage right? teams, yeah. the Absolutely. women's team, accepted with obviously an international coach. This is not an anti-Thomas Tuchel or international coaching. It's, not. Yeah. it's yeah. purely around the fact that English coaches are really struggling to build an identity, not just in this country, in the Premier League, but obviously in Europe as well. So if we can't put an, point an English coach to the national job, where are we putting our belief system in terms of what we're doing? That, that's what I would say. If this, manager goes this... On to, if this manager goes on to win the World Cup, I, I, what a knock-on effect it will have for mm. the whole but, FA going forward. But Roy, be no, Roy, 100%, yeah, but... ultimately, I will support the England manager, support Thomas Tuchel, one England, desperate for England to win a tournament, but just think, going back to where we were with Capello and with Sven, I didn't think we'd revisit that again. I thought we would say, right, yeah, okay, Cal. the English manager has to be English moving mm. forward because... English coaching is struggling at this moment. Do you think there's yeah, an English English coach should... that's ready? No, I was just going to say that. Yeah. The first yeah. day I went to the tournament, and you'll remember this. Do you remember this conversation? The first day I turned up at the tournament in the summer when you'd already been over there for a day in yeah. Berlin, and I said, "Why is English coaching in the doldrums in the way in which?" Do you remember that? And asked that question: Why can't we keep possession? Why can't? What is? Yeah. What has happened? I asked you that question, and I still feel passionately about that. Why? So, if you could pick one English manager at the moment that you would have liked to brought in, who would have been? Well, it probably would have been uh, Eddie Howe or Graham Potter. Right. They would have been the one of the two that I would have gone for. But obviously, there's issues yeah. with Eddie Howe in terms of contract and compensation. Yeah, and Graham Potter's managed And they obviously right, don't right believe in Potter. They didn't even he's, phone he's Eddie Howe. They didn't even call him. They didn't even call Eddie Howe. No, they, they probably didn't want a bit of compensation, right? They sent him Maybe. a WhatsApp. Yeah, but if he's the best, if, he's, if they believe that yeah, he's somebody that's in the running, so, yeah. Roy. I, 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 yeah, but Gal, we're talking about, you just mentioned about um, what, 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 what they, they were talking about, the coaching, and they wanted to make a charge on making sure that English coaches get get to a certain level so as we can, they can be out there for us to, to pick from and that, but what were they doing then? Yeah. Because what, what's their plan? Because when you look at people trying to get on these courses, the prices, try, you know, the, the failure rate, everything what goes into um, being a coach in this country, look how many people go to, like, I remember when I was at MK Dons, Carl was saying to me about, you know, don't worry, we'll get you, we'll get you on the Wells FA. You go to Wells and you can do it there or you could go somewhere else and do it. Why is it so difficult? in the, the English FA to make it easier for people to get on those courses? Why is it so expensive? It's so expensive, Expen aren't they? Yeah. So expensive, right, see, I, so, so I, tough. I, 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 I those are the things that they should be worrying right, about you, instead you, of thinking Thomas Tuchel's Roy, coming in and taking people's But Roy, jobs. to be fair, like me, has done his C, B, A and Pro licence in England. You did, I think you did them in England. It is deemed to be one of the hardest to get through, absolutely, except it's oh, long. Right. It took literally six, seven years to get through Does the whole it? thing. Yeah, it takes a long time. And then right? we say, well, where we got So basically, we spent five, six years getting through it. And to be honest with you, I quite enjoyed it. I don't know whether you thought you enjoyed yeah. it. I mean, you're having got you're having got a coaching course, the A license and the pro license. It's not, I, easy, yeah. it's not easy. It's not and, meant to be easy, does it? And also, I actually enjoyed it when I did it. I felt like I learned a lot ultimately. No, not to be a manager because it didn't give me experience to be a manager, but it actually gave me some of the understanding of. <laughs> Paul, was it? You said it before. He no, said it. Really what he no, it gave me the understanding of basically sort of like a lot. Yeah, of but, it gave me yeah. some experience. Was, but not, yeah, but in, was it like when you're sitting there, Roy, and you're doing it, and you think to yourself, Jesus Christ, this is hard. I'm not saying to make it easy for people. Did you? think that some of the times this is this is yeah. really tough because we're not talking about you're, you're a player you're a player we're talking about normal people who just play a little but bit it's a different who want right to try and come we but, need to make the but, pool uh, bigger but also right is part of the challenge you're doing your coaching course is to stick at it a lot of people drop mm. out but you could do that for any course you, part of the challenge is it's sticking at it yeah. Yeah, but then the thing with the english fa one is that there's a lot of people that don't right, stick the, at the, that ger one. the german one is two years where i think you have to turn up i think um, I think Paul Lambert did it, didn't right, he? Yeah, you, have to, like, you have to, yeah. I think, have to go like a weekend every month. It's yeah. hard, that's it, harder than was the a big, There's a big price difference in them both as well. Mm. The German. I think but why are they yeah, different? The German was like 500 you, you, euros. Yeah, but you can't get grants. You know, there is grants. But even like the normal, the normal guy. I think so, yeah. I think there's... Yeah, to there's, get all the way up to... Oh, well, if you're, if, if you're a man in the street, you, you, you would ask, you would question him going, I, I don't know if you need to go and get the pro licence, because that's the... Well, do you really think the man in the street's going to try and get a job in the Premier League or that top level? Yeah. But the thing is, you, you don't know where that guy comes from in respects of... 
coaching. And I'm not saying that we could just pick someone off the street, Roy, but I think everybody should have the opportunity. You and then you go to a so. level and you think, yeah. well, I can't kick on there, so I might just stop here and do coaching. But if they can, it needs to be more of a pathway for people who are, are close. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It's the paperwork side, I think. Sometimes <laughs> I just want to get, like, for me, honestly, that's what puts There's me off. Like, I just want to be on the grass coaching. Yeah, but you just want to be on the grass. I know, I know. I love it. I, I, love it. Love it. I, I think, well, I'm trying to think when we moved to St. George's it's been Park. Open? It was, we, we, to be fair, I'm thinking it was probably 2014, maybe 10 years, actually. So it might be ten, nine, 10 years. It's been open so 10 years. So that'll have been right. Yeah, it's, we moved there so part way through Roy's Would they have been one to implicate a style of play for England? No, at the time, obviously. The, I, I always got the impression with England that you copy whoever wins. Yeah. The, no, the, so Spain, when it goes small. Belgium are number one team. Belgium are number one team. That's, my, that's, one goals, team that's my big question here. So we, but I what, think academies do that. So what we're doing now in England, we are literally just seeing coaches come over who've got identities, different styles. We're copying them and trying to think that's the English style. But we've lost our old identity, I believe, in terms of how we should play. So we haven't got an identity. What is our identity. style? We haven't got that, Exactly. Yeah. What is our but style? But you don't have a coaches. Our style's you're weird, a good. not Gary, you're a prime example. You ended up being... Was your job title assistant manager of England? Yeah. You were assistant manager of England. Uh, uh, no, I was. I was like second, a uh, second coach because. Uh, what was your yeah. experience for getting a huge job in world football? No, at that time, work... at that time, I was a pro licensed coach, but I wasn't doing training yeah, on the field but, anyway. Yeah, but what was your experience as not. a coach I'd... to go and work no, in England? I had none, but I wasn't right. coaching. I was doing the analysis. But well, you're on, you're on the staff. You're, you're on the staff. You're a coach, gal. I was doing Don't the analysis. Walk away from so it. Well, you're watching matches with Roy on the side, and were you just scratching your arse? No. What were you doing? <laughs> I was doing the analysis. You were doing stuff, yeah. Analysis part of the coaching. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you was a set piece coach. <laughs> <laughs> you're ahead of your time. <laughs> but you ended up, up, end up in a role that was a huge role that a lot of people would, you know, would absolutely. give anything to get the chat. Yeah. But you had no experience. So what were the FA thinking then? We're going to exactly. We're going to get Gary Neville and walk him with the. I mean, that was Roy's choice. That was Roy's choice to bring me in. I mean, yeah, but they had to. They had to okay it. Yeah, they had to. Right. So my role with England, just to put you right here, I, I was obviously doing analysis on television every single week. I think I was competent at analysis. You was basically good looking. So basically, I was doing that. I was doing the pre-match and post-match videos mm. of England. That was what I was doing, the pre-match and post-match. If you speak to lads, I wasn't doing any coaching on the field. Roy and Ray did that. So I was, I was competent in doing the thing I was being asked to do. But you're right, I didn't have any coaching experience, but I wasn't coaching the players. Roy and Ray were doing that. But you're on the staff with the English fucking senior team, I man. know, but mean? I... I know what I'm saying to you, but I wasn't coaching them, if you're, if you're understood. He wasn't, what you like, doing on the grass. He was doing, he was doing analysis. analysis. Oh, that's that's all part after. of the coaching. When, Pep does, when you're looking at the opposition, that's all part of the coaching. I get that, but, uh, but what I'm saying is analysing the opposition and analysing the, what they do. That's part of coaching. That's management. But I think I'm competent in doing that. I think clubs do have a video analysis, though, don't they, person? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, most clubs do, yeah. Of you course. don't coach. I mean. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was, I was acting as almost like a, an analyst type thing, really. You know, moving forward with England, though, how do you actually, how do you see them playing, like, but under Jill, him? that's my big question. How do we develop an identity, a coaching programme, a coach education system that's successful? And to be honest, it's nothing to do with Thomas Tuchel. Let's remove that. Yes. How do we do that? Yeah. Because, you know, right, you've mentioned access to courts, co courses. You said the challenges of the courses. I can't believe in England did have an identity 25, 30 years ago. Whether you like it or not, it was 4 4 2, it was wingers. Yep. It was probably, to be fair, prehistoric and became out of date because it didn't work at times. But now teams you see do defend 4 4 2. Yep. You know, there are t clubs in Europe like, say, Atletico Madrid who've succeeded with that type of system. We seem to have copied and gone, like you said, every, we've gone and copied everybody, wins. but we've lost everything that we, I believe, mm. uh, uh, probably been good at. And I'm not quite sure what we are anymore. You said the question, what is our style? I well, don't know. But Tuchel will determine that now, won't he? And then the teams below will have to work with that in case the lads then step up, surely. But, but is that what they do with the FA? Do they say every team has to play the same? Like the Spanish mm. FA, I'm sure. Do. There's usually a well, thread. Like there, is, there, is a, there is a philosophies document within the yeah. FA that says this is how we should play. There is. And what's that? Um, it's to dominate possession. It's to control the game. It's to be good at set pieces. Yeah, I've got the players to do that now, though. Yeah. Haven't they? It's to we dominate possession. It's to control the game. So that's it. That's Surely, that's dominate possession. I think it's yeah, the, that's the coming around the players about... you've got, haven't you? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's the coming around the players you've got, and the players yeah. are there now. So I always remember when we played. I don't know if you remember before every game, play at Premier League speed. They won't live with you. Yeah, that's what they always used to talk about with England. Players are so technical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, just you fucking run, run around like an idiot, and they're just passing the ball around you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I but think there is documents, isn't there, on the style yeah. of England. You have England to be flexible. You're not playing at Premiership speed, but when you're playing tournaments at the end of the season, whatever fatigue, game every four days, conditions, yeah. the opposition who actually might be quite good at possession as well, by the way. Yeah. So that, that, that we've all like, I, I used to do my head, you know, a year, everyone's saying Premier League pace, you're so quick, they won't live here, they won't live here. And these are 
These but players, Scott, you, made, the, the you just made the point that England have the players. Technical. Have, they, have they the players to to beat Spain and these teams in Argentina who turn up the tournament You've got to and that. peak. Well, I think the manager will help that. Peak at the right time. It's about peaking at the right time. So England will You're qualify. You don't think Roy, we could put a midfield free together that can. Well, tell me. Yeah, but I think they have think to make a, a front decision. Six yeah, I don't think, I think it's the how they fit people in. Them, They've got to make a decision on who is that best yeah. three in midfield and have structure. I don't think it's about let's not play with a nine and just put everything in. We need. But, but everyone says England have the players to go and win these big tournaments. Um, have they? I we're, think so. We're, That's we're, what we have to find out. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I get it. I mean, we've all, so we far, do the TV. Praise Gareth is, for getting so far. We do the TV now stuff. Now that line. We do the, the TV. The every tournament, the Euros are right TV, the World Cup, everyone's sitting there going, England are the players, you're sitting there going, really? well, Yeah, but we've got to two finals, Roy, we've got to two Euro finals, we've got to a semi-final, and it's, of course we're looking back, but we've got the players, we, we've got there. We're, whatever people say about our run into it, and the, the good run in a, in a competition is part of the, is I part get of the whole I, deal, I right? I agree with you. No problem. So I'm we've not got the players you. that can get through. They, they, they can get through now. It's but, not, it's, it's yeah, but what's the hard part of football? We're going to say it. The last part. That's why Thomas Tuchel's come. It's it's Scholes, Scholes, Scholes's, point, Scholes's point, which was the point I started off the tournament with last year, is that as soon as we get to a good team, they look like they've got 12 men and we look like we've got 10. That We can't, get, look, we, we can't get the ball. They look poor against the bad teams in the group. I know, but what I'm saying is we can't get the ball. We just can't get the ball. I'll ask you teams. a quick question. Tell me the last time you watched England, the last two or three years where you went, i tell you what, I think you mentioned there last year that they got to Italy and beat Italy in the Nations League. Mm -hmm. But tell me, you know, the tournament you were in, I'll tell you what, England were, hey, they were excellent today. No, I, I, I honestly think the style of play and the control of games, which has been a problem going back to our time. The Euros, but, just go back to the last Euros, yeah. for example. No, when you're the, you're well, right, you're right. No, 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 I'm not, no we're talking about tournament football, though, Roy. not denying tournament it. Tournament football. Yeah, but what, where did you watch a game where you're going, England, England's philosophy is possession, but they didn't dominate. And that was the lesser teams. Mm. I think, actually, the last tournament, as they, bad they as we were, were bad this we did have more possession, were. believe it or not, in those crap games we were playing. 51%. <laughs> no, they had more, I think. But anyway, it didn't look like it. But we played in game scores where it looked like we couldn't get near anybody. But well, he's right. And in that we couldn't respect. get near anybody, and it's like we've been, we've lived that through is that. Is that a thing, like... no, Gal? I know what, what you're saying, Roy. About when's the last time we've played in a tournament where we've played people? And, and oh, but you want to see that? Of course you do, because the teams that do that in tournaments, you kind of gravitate towards them. Ah, oh, they're brilliant. Keep an eye out for them. But when you're winning a tournament, it's about tournament football is about winning. And, and, and being, like, stodgy and being hard to beat and then getting that chance and Compare scoring. England, sorry, Ray. Compare England to your animal, because you're about competing with the best and getting mm. over the line. Compare England to the last Euros with the winners. Just compare them from start to the finish of the tournament. Mm. Chalk and cheese. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Young players. Playing different possession football. Playing on the counter-attack. Set pieces they were good at. They got to the final with England go, but could we beat them? Deep mm. down. I know anything can happen in a one-off, but you're going... Spain are way ahead of bloody England. Yeah. Way ahead yeah, of England. Roger went off. I'm not going to disagree. Roger went off at halftime and everyone was getting giddy yeah. in the studio. <laughs> and then they were just as good. No one's coming home. No one's coming home. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, do you think they have a mole coming off the bench? No, they've got a guy who's fucking half decent, let me tell you. Spain, Spain looked like winning it all the way through. That's what you're trying to say. I know, but it does. Literally England brilliant. Did it, did they? Brilliant yeah. in every game. Limp the way through. Yeah. They were tenacious against Germany, beating Germany in Germany. Listen, they should have beat England by more. They had great chances and actually picked with one or two good saves. In answer to your yeah. question, have we got the players? Yes, but I just don't I think don't they've been they played in they the right have. way. That's why I think... I don't know if they have. I think that's what you're saying. They've got to prove we I are. I don't think that's we, it. we think we have, yeah. but until you get over that final hurdle, that's then it. you don't who know. Knows. I'm right. excited, though, for it. So I'm right. Is that what we're saying? Yeah, well, <laughs> right. I'll, give, I'll give you that one, right. Super six, <laughs> super six, and then we're going to have a conversation on relegation. This weekend, you can win £1 million on Super 6. Just predict the scores for six Premier League games for your chance to win. It's free to play. Don't miss your chance. Get your predictions in now. I need to take my tablet. I've got a headache off you. <laughs> <laughs> Rizzo, are you out last night? Hey, Rizzy. <laughs> Greece. Do you want do you like... one? Do you know what it's for? <laughs> Period some? pains? Do you want one? <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, Jill, you always bring your stuff up like that. Uh, what do you want me? You Jill? guys get it easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. I have to sit next to you. <laughs> yeah, what? I think we've done well last week. <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> right, come on, Ben, let's go. <laughs> you want a tablet? Right. You know what? Can just quickly talk about because I had to when I done the knee, they had to give me an epidural. Couldn't Did feel they? My, couldn't feel my bottom half. Nothing. If I was, right was weeing myself, I wouldn't have felt it. Right, oh for those that God. don't know, but most do, for those that don't know, explain yeah. what your operation you've had, please. Yeah, I've just had a, <laughs> a complete knee replacement. 
There's not many would have got, would have got to this point. To make the show. But I've done it, yeah. <laughs> I well done, done like, Ian. Honestly, my surgeon's amazing, but... Well done, Ian. And you came in in a wheelchair. Well, well done, Ian. Didn't you? This weekend on Super 6, you can win £1 million. Just <gasps> Somebody's done it. We saw the government be done it. It's, it can be done. It can be done. Right, last week, we Gary. Come on. Right. Oh, Gary. Yeah, right. yeah, 11 or 12. Gary, you got six. Uh, oh, six. six. Jesus. I think we've uh, beaten him here. What did, what did we get? Gary's total is 37. What did I get? I mean, what did we get? And it was double. I like the way he's doing it. Win. This means it's going to be big, isn't it? Come on. Your body you're language, where you're standing. I like it. You look excited. And it was Don't shout. No, listen to what listen signal. to your scores. Sorry. Sorry. It's gone respect. Um, you got 12. Yes! Wow! Toby Moore. Toby Moore. Top 15%. Yeah, exactly. yeah. That was good. Top 15 that's why you're a winner, oh, right? It's, tell you what. it's wow. not just Roy. That's good. Why are you like, why are you like, well Roy, you got 12? Well 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 it was well a team effort. Well 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 Look at Roy, he's like, yeah, Gary. I did well. Hey, right, that's so, a lot less now. On the shoulder. City Southampton, um, Gary. We'll go. Um, oh, easy. Three? The three nil? Three or four, I was going to say. We'll go four. Four. Four, one or nil? I was right. Two. Quite attack. You can City. attack a little one. bit, can't they? Twelve. One. You got a goal. As much as I love City, eh? I do think South. Nil or one. Score. You don't. I do. Oh, City three. Oh, one. Let me one. Check. One. Oh, four, one. We were close. One. Four, one. Four, one. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, mate. Fulham. Fulham. Yeah, yeah. Fulham. 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 Hold cheer for us. City Southampton. I don't think that. They'll have a Champions League. I don't think I should do them because I'm still on the drugs and I might be like not right with it. The drugs don't work. They do work. They just make you work. They very well. I think they might concede. No as much way, as I love Jill. them. I do. Honestly, they're open on the they counter. They do start yeah, well. Sort of you know, I mean, look how many times they start well. Three, one. Southampton oh, can't Jill. keep a lead. Go on, no. I'll let you go. No, go on. No, go on. You <laughs> no, no, no. Three, no, one. three, one. three, one, three one, Rizzo. Go on. Three, 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 one. Nil. three nil. That's his way of they're agreeing with you, but putting pressure on you. Was he like that as a captain? Villa Bournemouth. Are they all on Saturday, Lim Games? No. No, Arsenal, Liverpool, Sunday. Villa probably United, West Ham, Sunday. Do you think the day affects the results? Yeah. I think something like that. Three one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought Arsenal. Villa at the moment they're flying. Villa are flying. Um, Villa are flying. It's really good to oh, see. Come on, you're got obviously two 0 Um, do you know, Villa weren't very good after Champions League last time against oh, United. Yeah. They were a bit scruffy. I think they'll win though. Yeah, they'll win, but I think they'll win, but I think, win, but I think you know Bournemouth Kez, to be fair will my, cause them a problem or two. My, um, it was against United last time there after yes. Champions League against Bayern. We got two one. We got two one. We got two one. So predictable. Ian, does that last <laughs> for the rest of your life there, now then? Yeah, what, the knee? The knee, or do you have to get replaced again? I fucking hope so, Jill. Oh. I ain't doing that again. Go on, you're going to play again. Go Everton v Fulham. 1-1. Like, oh. uh, Everton will win that. Everton will oh. win that. Fulham, the, yeah. the winning? Yeah. Everton will win it. 2-1 Fulham. I'll go draw here. I'll draw all day. See, I think Everton. 1-1. 1 1 or 2 2. No, like meant to... And remember, it's one, one, one matter, weird result, isn't it? Like Bournemouth. I, I think 2 yeah, yeah. 2 looks yeah. good with that game. Desmond, yeah, we've got Desmond. Well, just for the record, when Everton win, I think an Everton win. But go on. Is it Sky Sunday, Chelsea? Yes. Newcastle to get yes. a result down there. Would it be a draw or a no win? No way, boy. Jill, I'm saying every Newcastle weekend. Newcastle are going to be Chelsea. And they're going to just sign a new deal. He's yeah. flying, he's ready, he's ready to go again. I'm going to go. Um, win that Do you think. Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah, no, don't, fool, Chelsea don't be fooled when I'm two over there. What? Newcastle won't and Gary, win you're, that. When you work with England, that's coaching. Analysing matches is coaching. No. <laughs> No. Fuck you, know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it is. It is. It is. But he makes sure he was in the room. No, I, don't, I don't think it is. Wait, no, did you go to the game? That's like saying you, you went, went to the game. Remember Les Reed? Uh, yeah, did you have a video analyst? Did you, did you have a video analyst at Sunderland? He wasn't a coach. He just he set the video up and then I, I take it. I was a coach, it. but I do like the, I do a box, maybe, or a bit of possession. Oh, yeah. He, 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 well done, Roy. You got it out of him. You got it out of him. Yes, you were coaching. One or two touches. He's trying to distance himself. He's trying to distance himself. No, this is it. You know when you were walking, did you put boots on? <laughs> old smoke. He loved had his yeah, boots on. If you boot on, you're coaching. Absolutely. Love the coaching. Were you ever on the grass? No, you say you you about, do you have to have coaching, <laughs> coaching like badges? Thirty three percent in that room. Gary had have his boots on doing the analysis in the class room. You know, you know, know when we played possession at United in the little small sided game, we walk over to it and he's going, he says, "Yeah, I'm trying to get." Come on, let's go play giveaway. Chelsea yeah. Newcastle, right? What do you think? Was he the best give in away. a box? Yeah, give away. best yeah. ever. Go on, go and play guy, let's go and play giveaway. We had a video <laughs> guy at Sunderland. He came to me once at half time. Obviously, he's up against somebody. He came in half time, and I, he didn't speak to me for about a year after. He went, 
the opposition are getting loads of crosses in. I said, I can fucking see them. <laughs> <laughs> Back away. And like, anyway. Um, Did they video it on, like, a camera yeah, like, holder? They're getting loads of crosses in. I said, I fucking know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'd love to be on your staff. Uh, where did it all go wrong? <laughs> Chelsea Newcastle. He's been to him for a year. He's been to him for a year. Just because he did his job. <laughs> Video analysis. <laughs> Chelsea, I'm going in. Just because the guy no, did his... There's always a weird... Reason. I'm there. telling you. It's not this one. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, 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 we're there, we're there. The guy did his job. 3-1 Chelsea. And and nice you lad. didn't speak to him for a year. No, I'm exaggerating. 3-1 Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, oh, I agree. Chelsea like win. Yeah. I didn't need to know. Gonna, what I'm what telling you, I fancy Chelsea. I'm not just doing his job. Go with the... Yeah, whatever it is. 3-1 Chelsea. You should have told your full backs in the way get tighter. All these new managers, you're on the sideline. Why are you all watching iPad? You know, I feel like saying, just watch the game. Yeah. I don't like that. The game's on there. 3-2. Watch the game. No, I do agree with that. What do you reckon? Just watch the game. Yeah, Newcastle got something about them. No, I'm... This... This... What are you going there now? This is Remember a, this, parent. What are you going there now? No, United have been West Ham. United have been awful. Uh, United are going to Turkey Thursday night. Awful. Mm. See? Could be a problem. You didn't know that because you're not know. footballing people. Did you know United are in Turkey yeah. Thursday night? I did. <laughs> They're playing away. I, I mean, United, to be honest with you, I... <laughs> Do your analysis on it, can't we? <laughs> oh, you're not a coach. Get, get your football boots yeah, on. Why are you doing your coaching badge? Yeah, yeah, but he's not a coach. He's, yeah. he's only an, an, an analyst. analyst. Yeah, well, Gammy can, Gammy no, can that's do everything, though, can't he? Yeah, you, you've I got, got your badges, though, haven't you? I think yeah, you could do it. I think he... I know he what he is. Gary's got Vex. Look, did you go on a course for video analysis? No. Right. So when no. they get, you know, in England at half time, did you ever say one thing to the players at half time? No, no. Never said, not as a group. No. A bit different. Too you never spoke to the full oh, no. You never spoke to the full Oh, just <laughs> maybe about set pieces. I speak to the odd one. I thought was basically needed something. Yeah, but oh, that's fine. I could do that as a player. That's your coaching. No, no, no. That's, oh, coach. that's your coaching. Oh, that's, that's your coaching. Coach. Coach. That's your coaching. That's your coaching. I was a licensed coach. Yeah, I spent six years with you doing it. Yeah, your coach. Yeah, your coach. And now you're trying to dis yeah. like, you're like, yourself. So you spent all that time and now you sat here. Yeah. He had a day off the Iceland match. Come know. on, anyway. West Ham, Man United. Oh, okay, <laughs> took his boots off the Iceland game. Yeah. United. <laughs> 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 he didn't want to be on the grass on the Iceland Right, Jill, West Ham, so Man United. Oh, United yeah. uh, Let's get a go. Oh, so, God. Scholes, I'm unsure. Both one, teams aren't playing well. Two, two, two. I'll do one, one. Two, two. United to Turkey on Turkey. What about Tottenham, by the way, against West Ham? They got battered there last year as well. Good result. West Ham Three four. goals in eight minutes. No, but that was a weird result. One one. I'd, I'd, I'd have gone 3-2 United. Really? You love that. I love game the way too. I love the way Hoyland finished that chance. He's he's, he's in the mode. I, I could see him getting two goals here. United. So United. No, United two one. Two, two one. Yes. Okay, Man, United, yeah, Man United two one. Love that. Do you think six here we go. This is the big one. Go, right this is the big here. one. The emotional one. Oh. Draw. Just put your draw down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What I'm not draws, having a nil nil. I don't want a nil nil. I'm, I'm, I can't watch a nil nil on Sunday. Are Arsenal missing any players? <laughs> <laughs> do you find it hard to do the TV when it's a draw? I hate nil nil. Yeah. No, 1 1, 2 2 is alright, but I hate nil nil. But you've got nothing to like analyse, oh, like goals and stuff. No, I need a winner. Are you doing comms? I need a winner or goals. Yeah, I'm doing comms. And gonna then are you going to come and join the panel? So why don't you just no. say it? Do you get paid double when Shut you do that? I'm underestimating Arsenal. Do you not? Podcast home. The thing is, so I just, if you do comms, then paddle, you don't get double. No. no. So Arsenal have got a goal. In that. Robertson yeah. or Trent will give a goal. So the full back. If Saka's fit, Arsenal hey, get a goal. I thought result. Andy Robertson last week, I mean, he's a brilliant defender, but I thought something was up in the oh. last week. You know, it's yeah. the chances. He kept running by him. Yeah. It's not good. If we, no. if we, if we make that break, away, are we going to be able to get past him? I thought last week was his. Trent. Everyone thought Trent was that brilliant defensively. The manager took him off in 10 minutes ago. Brilliant, isn't it? Anyway, that's another point. Um, I don't think Saka will be fit to <laughs> start. Brilliant defensively. 10 minutes ago, you're 2-1 up where we're taking yeah. him off. That's, that's a great message. Well. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we really trust you defensively. Yeah. I think we're yeah. I'm going with a draw. Saka will I'm come sorry. on last 30. <laughs> you'll go with the draw? No. I think I'm going for it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think one, one. Everyone, one, one. Everyone happy. 1-1, one, one, great. OK. Oh. <laughs> I think 1 1's not a bad shout, to I be honest with you. I'll tell you what, we'll go Arsenal 2 1. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. one done. Nice yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. No, go on, you choose. Them. I fancy Liverpool. Go I fancy no, no, no. Liverpool we'll win. as well. Yeah. Rock Come on, Gary's yeah. got, hey, yeah. go with Gary, he's got his pro license. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he can only use it in certain places. He's a video He's a video coach. I'm going Arsenal 2 1. Wow. I would have gone so, Liverpool nice with one. Yeah. Sorry about Thank that. You. Thank right. You. Relegation. Relegation. The question is, do we feel we're getting more certain every year that the teams that come up are almost going to go back down? Do we feel like it's getting more predictable? <sighs> and what we've been on last year, obviously. Um, 
Leicester have had a decent couple of results, haven't they? So you mm. think Leicester? You've got Southampton, you've got Ipswich, you've got Leicester. I didn't yeah. expect Wolves to be down Ipswich. there, though. Yeah, I've, wa I've watched yeah, Wolves a couple of times. Yeah. They're really struggling. Yeah, but did you expect it going into the season? Um, yeah, Wolves you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, but if they keep down, they'll, they'll obviously yeah, but the manager on Wolves. it. Well, I just don't think Wolves' Wolves start, like we talk enough about... Enough pace, enough energy. We talk there. about yeah. Liverpool's start. Wolves' start has been a really yeah. tough start. Yeah. I think if Wolves, they got anything, I think they've got a run coming up now. This is where you probably have to... Yeah. To you say it out, Ryder, but you've got to be careful with them runs because sometimes you play, the, uh, the, obviously, the so-called harder teams. You go, oh, I look forward to yeah. that. And then the lesser and then teams the lesser come teams, and do a job. Yeah, but this is where it's going to be more like tougher for them. I think they've got an all right squad of players, don't you? I think there's a bit of energy. I like him up front. Something there. There's enough there. They could get the ball in the box with him. Cunha. I saw him getting taken off the other day. You fair for Southampton in Ipswich? You do. Southampton, mm. Ipswich, also. especially with Southampton. But you know what? Even when they're struggling, obviously that energy at the first few yeah. games that looks to be going. And you know what? You find out as well. Obviously, they look physically. They seem to get smaller. You know, when the defeats are getting at them every week. Even Everton going down last week. Tips is doing a good job on them mm. two 0 about Ipswich tonight. Yeah, they thought they would have got. They would have thought maybe like Everton. Yeah. But Everton. That was a bad result from that. Oh. Yeah. Mm. What would you say is the most yeah. important thing when you're down the bottom of that table yeah. and you know it's going to be relegation yeah. all yeah. season? Yeah, it's what tough. do you think is um, the most important thing? Scoring goals. Tough all season. Always scoring score. goals. Uh, score. But what are you telling your players every week? Do you know the problem when you're down there? You're on a the point is when you come up and you're thinking you play Man City and you play these teams you go, oh, so you're up against United and then you might play Everton at home you go Everton at home deep down you're thinking this is a chance to maybe get a result and they come and do a really good, a good job, job and you're like yeah. because they, know. they were the ones we taught so yeah. it's that mentally picking people Especially up every Monday go, basically it's and, like, and you're used to winning yeah. obviously sorry right in the no, championship no. obviously you're used to winning because mm. you got promoted and then all of a sudden week in week out you, you, you are getting beaten most weeks and just keeping people's spirits up and your energy levels up. Mm. Yeah. They underestimate. What they underestimate is like they, Everton will probably go to Ipswich and the Ipswich players who are playing. They're playing okay. They're doing all right, especially down there. It seems like it's a really nice, raucous kind of atmosphere. And, they, and the Everton players, yeah. <coughs> they'll go there. And they're experienced. And the experienced. Right? The, the, the Ipswich player. players will be thinking, oh, we see how they. Yeah. And then they go there and they think, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's yeah. A lot better than I thought. I remember when we came up Palace and we had to play Coventry after playing United. And I think it might have been, I can't remember who it was, who's the other one. And we think, oh, at least we can go to Coventry. And, uh, and they were amazing for us. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. They were like, wow, is this what they're like? Where are we going to get a point from? <laughs> Jeez. So you got to pick people up. It's picking yeah. people up every Monday and let's go again. Do you kind of have to do like a bit like mini leagues? Like, do, look at the next like, yeah. five A lot of managers fixtures. do that, don't they? Yeah. Like five other, games at a time yeah. or something, maybe. It's yeah. 11 wins. Otherwise, you, you need 11 like... wins. That's what it is. You need 11 wins and it's like... I was reading something the other day. Where Not it that says, anymore, righty. The points taught. I think you years think... ago, if we looked at, we always taught. Obviously, going back when I, we taught a point a game. If you can get a point a game, yeah. but it's obviously a lot less than that now. It used to be forty points, but it's nowhere near mm. that now, is it? Wow. Teams are getting less points. It feels like at the yeah. bottom. Is it getting Especially harder for the teams them? at the bottom? Is it getting harder for the teams at the bottom? Do you think? It seems to be. Obviously, if you look at the record, obviously three were known last year. I think two of the three mm. great chance of going on this year, and that's not good for the league, is it? Teams don't change either, do they? You mm. think of Burnley last year? Yeah. It looks like Southampton yeah. are going down exactly that. Great exactly. Look at so, they look after themselves rather than the club. Oh, they manage some of them are doing, yeah, because mm. their reputation. And then they yeah. think, well, if we go down, I might go up. You look at Southampton even last week, and again, you, you, you're tuning up. And mm. it's got to the stage you now for the team near the bottom are going, we've, we have to win. To win. Mm. But even I'd say, no, I'd just even get a draw. Yeah, but, yeah, even yeah. Southampton last get week, 2 2 yeah. disappointed. Get something a on the board, yeah. Point yeah. Point can yeah. Be I think that's why yeah. Wolves are so frustrated against City in that moment. Oh. Because that point that means Massa. so much, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, but that's what City do. They just, mm. They've got the quality to just like hurt you right to death like that. Yeah, so you the two you'd worry for definitely Southampton and uh, Ipswich. And is there a club that, other than Leicester, that obviously they did come up, is there a club that you think that haven't been down there too much or you think they've been safe in the past would get dragged down into well, it? Yeah, there's always... There's always but who do you think that club you know would what? Palace, Palace, I was just going to say Palace, Palace yeah. yeah. There's, there's, well, I think they've Palace, got enough, but... More than enough, yeah. I think, Paul, even when you watch... Yeah. Yeah. You've Some said that players, over the years yeah. about teams go, yeah, and then before you know at the end of the season you're down. Yeah, but then you look... I looked the other day and I saw, even watching... Obviously, watching Eddie, Eddie and Ketia closely just to see how he's getting on, and he looks like somebody who's quite anxious about getting his shot off and trying to get that goal. He needs to calm, calm down, and maybe play with Mateta. Play yeah, with man, Mateta. You've got to get someone like Eze to like focus on being the person that not too many touches, moving the ball quicker. You know, being a little bit more. So you know, Palace are missing point. more than anybody. Well, I know they sold to players, talented players. The centre half went to Fulham is Anderson. Oh, Anderson, yeah. he's a yeah. huge loss to him. He just has that calm and presence. He yes. got a goal in him as well. I think he is huge. His passing was brilliant. Oh, 
it was that yeah, was league player for them. And it's amazing. I know they've lost all obviously very, very good players and you have to, you have to, they had to cash in a little bit, I suppose. You know, but that centre-half was huge. You look at Palace and... Even Palace, you're like, uh, uh, righty, a draw. Go and get, mm. go to front and take yeah. the point, even if you're going to... Take the point. I can't understand why he's... Was that 1-0? Yeah, the goalkeeper. Yeah. Munoz and, and Mitchell, I think he should go. They're both full-backs. Play them as full-backs. Because you're looking at the what he's trying to ask Mitchell to do, Munoz, and like even... Again, watching Eddie, seeing the service he's getting, Munoz had a couple of opportunities where he could put one in and you think, Jesus, he can't put that one in. But that's what you need, the top goalkeeper. Them. Look at the goalkeeper the other night uh, for uh, Palace. Yeah, oh, no, that's a bad, bad, You've just got to save that. It's a come basic on. save. You come away with a point and, you know, and everyone's bored with the draw. You go, no, we take the point. It's really point. weird as well. Oh, you're, going huge. you're going to the dressing room. I don't, I don't remember too many because obviously Dave Seaman didn't do too many mistakes like that. But I can't imagine you're going to the dressing room and he's let one in like that. You just... You're like you, you're thinking, you... <laughs> and, and everyone's saying, "Hey, just keep going, keep going." I can just see you looking at him, staring at him, shaking him out. You let us down. <laughs> you know, it's one of those you just that. think to yourself, "Jeez." That's right. Look I at think goals think, are Palace's yeah. problem, aren't they? That's what yeah. it is, and this is yeah, I but this is it. why it doesn't look like a He wants to play on his own. He needs. He needs somebody. He needs somebody. I think they'll be okay. The one who scored the goals last year. He's not playing them, is he? Do you think the Palace will be alright? Do you think the forwards? As as a good player. Do you think the forwards in them situations they don't get many chances? They look so anxious and uptight that they miss it. Whereas when you're relaxed, is that when you feel? Yeah, but that's more. There's more pressure on them now. You don't know about players when they live a big club and they go to a Palace. You go. I'm going to see how good you are. You've been surrounded by brilliant players at Arsenal, and you've been a fringe player. There's less pressure now. You're going. Can you be the main man? And some people can't deal. And then what happens? You get taken off, and this is what I was saying. I said, you, you, when he gets taken off, he's got so many things yeah. in his mind now. What he's thinking, because he's not thinking, I'm leaving Arsenal's bench to go to Palace to be on the bench or to get taken off. Mm. Look, as a striker, when you're getting taken off with 10, 15 minutes to go, that's them saying yeah. he's not scoring. Mm. That's one of the worst mm. things that can happen for a striker. And he's somebody who's just well, gone he's there. He's not scoring, though, is he? Yeah, but you know what? Why. I think... I know, but it's hard it, to score when you're not again, playing, isn't it? Yeah, and you're not, but he's he, not getting that service. He might be better off just sitting back and watching for an hour, do you know what I mean? It might be worth being a sub. You're thinking and coming on? Yeah, because it is easier, isn't it, to come on? Did you ever get taken off? Obviously, that never happened. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> right, strikers that's it. End do of... get took we'll off quite on a bit, point. though. Hang on. Yeah, strikers, strikers always get taken off. Yeah. Yeah, no. Can't. We're finishing. Must have had no We're one. done. Is that it? Oh, no. Yeah, oh, episode okay. over. Alan Smith. Beautiful ending. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you, I've got you. Hey, team Jesus, player. Jesus, I don't want you to <laughs> yeah. right. It's like Look, little Britain. Hey, this is it. I'm his carer. I'm his full-time carer. <laughs> oh, we got two of them. <laughs>